Hi everybody, welcome to our channel. I want to say a big thank you to all our supporters. We are now in our new home. If you follow us on uh, Instagram or Snapchat, you know we've been snapping along the way. Um, I now have a new vanity area with lighting and drawers. And my amazing husband set it all up for me. I'm still getting organized, but I wanted to hop on here and try my first video recording in our new home. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to do a real quick little natural makeup look. Nothing major. Um, just to see how it goes. So um, I do, again, I just want to thank everybody. Thank all our friends and family for all the support. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure you click that subscribe button and that like button. Um, and share. Share our link. Get us more uh, subscribers. We are a new company based out of Las Vegas and we're just really trying to to get out there and to get going and um, you will see videos um, from me doing product reviews and makeup reviews and all kinds of reviews, all kinds of things. You'll see videos from my husband on, um, excuse me, on um, IT stuff and computers and hacking and cybersecurity, identity theft, all that stuff. Um, he also does uh, PS4 live streaming. Uh, you can follow him on PS4 at Elite GI Joe. Um, you can follow me on PS4 with uh, Lazenia, L Y G Z E N I A. Um, okay, so let's get started. Let's see how this works out. Bear with me. So, first thing I'm going to do, which I should always do. Obviously, I've already cleansed my face. If you want to moisturize, I use two. I use my e.l.f. I don't know if you can. E.l.f. No. E.l.f. just put out a new facial line, skincare line. That is great. I love it. I use it all the time. I use their cleanser. I use their, their melt. I use the moisturizer. I use everything. So, you're going to moisturize. And then just for a little added moisturizer, I've been using this, which I like. Um, you can use it all over. Um, on your face, on your body, everywhere. Nivea Soft, it's called. And I absolutely love it. Just a little bit. Again, this just gives me you know, a little added moisturizer, you know, to keep those fine lines and wrinkles away when you start hitting my age, <laughs> you really want to keep them away. And I'm going to talk while I do this, because you're going to see other things on this channel. I mean, we go out and about all the time here in Las Vegas, and we record things, and record our trips, and all the people around us, and we just have fun, that's what we do. So, Brave Bear Girl, I got you with a sippy sippy. I love her, she's awesome. So, I'm going to let this soak in for a second. I think we're good to go. I've been using this uh, primer by Hard Candy called Four Defense. Four Defense. Don't talk today. Again, bear with me. A little bit of this. I usually really concentrate on my nose with this because that is where I notice my pores seem to be a little larger, tend to show more. You know, I just concentrate really in my T zone with this. You know, I put some on there, let that soak in, and I'll grab a little more. And I'll just put it all over. Going back over to the T-Zone, just to make sure everywhere. It's pretty neat. Now the foundation I'm going to use today is a brand I used to use in high school that everybody got because it was so cheap. But I'll tell you, they've really, really upped their 
to really up their formula lately. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild. That they show. There's a lot of lighting here. I'm noticing that I need to try to cut some back. But this is the Wet n Wild new Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm going to use that. Comes with a little spatula. Cute little applicator. And just dot it all over. Just dot, 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 dot. Isn't that cute? It smells like paint, but it does work good. And then, what I tend to do before I start blending with my beauty blender, I take a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Matte. Just put that in the back of my hand. It's a little darker. Wet and Wild is a little bit too light for me. And I put some on my beauty blender and I just dab, 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 dab. You guys know the drill. Bounce, bounce away. Again, this is just going to be a quick little look. Just so I can see how this area is going to work for filming, see if I need to change. Um, obviously, I already know I need to change some of this lighting in here. It's a little strong, I'm noticing, on uh, yeah, camera. Well, at least in the viewfinder, I'll have to see how it looks when I edit and all that. But so far, well, good. And as you can see, like, I mean, obviously the light is really on me, but this color is a little too light for me. But it's a great foundation, and I tend to darken it up with um, bronzer, so, and my powder, so, it will, uh, it will get to where I need to be. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Just get a little closer look. Make sure everything is properly blended. Okay, you know, we gotta make sure we blend. We don't want to be picky. So comment down below if there's any YouTubers um, who you follow faithfully um, in the makeup industry. You know, the makeup bloggers like. I know I personally, some of my favorites are Jeffree Star, uh, Manny M.U.A., Gabriel Zamora, uh, Lurley, love her. Um, I have to say my favorites though are um, Jeffree Star and, and Manny M.U.A., um, Jeffree Star, sorry Manny, Jeffree Star being my number one. Um, that's what got me into really watching videos on YouTube was him. I uh, put into Jeffree Star when he was in his music era on MySpace. And, uh, you know, I used to follow him on MySpace. So if I didn't just age myself, I don't know what will. So, but it's okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer. I've been using the e.l.f. concealer. Um, it, there's two. There's one with a white cap, one with a black cap. I have both. I tend to grab the one with the black cap the most. It doesn't tell you anything specific on it, and if you don't keep the packaging, you will forget, like me. So, I'm going to use this just right here on my under eyes. And you see, I don't, I don't go real light with this. I tend to try to help it darken up a little bit when I use this foundation. And I just kind of put it all up in here. And again, I take my damp beauty blender. Well, fake ass beauty blender. And, uh, bounce it away. And blend all that in. 
If there's any product you guys want me to try for you or review for you, make sure you drop it down in the comment box because I definitely will try those out. And I'm always looking for new, better, improved makeup to try, especially when you get, you know, older in your late 30s, early 40s, as I am, and we do start getting those fine lines and wrinkles. You're always looking for that flawless, flawless finish that will obviously help you stay looking younger. So, if there's anything you guys know of that works really well, just uh, drop it down in the comment box and uh, we'll test it. Now, one thing I've been doing as of lately, uh, as if I just use a BB cream and not an actual foundation, I've been using, <laughs> excuse me, Revlon's Color Stay Aqua. Um, this stuff works really, really well if you want. Just how I'm going to try it now. Let me see how it works. I use it with, again, a beauty blender to pick some up. And I don't, I don't bake per se. I do set as fast as I can. And I guess I bake a little. I don't really fully bake. But I always no, really put it where I need to go. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to pat this in. Try not to make this video longer than it needs to be. Try to be people crazy. So we are all patted in. I have some visitors in my makeup area. My husband and I moved here originally from New York. We have five kids. We have three dogs, two cats. And I'm sure you'll see them all on video at some point. My husband has come up to visit me. As well as use some jasmine to move our face. So now I take this big brush. And I've been using this. Um, you'll never believe where my husband found this. He found this at the Dollar Tree. This is Wet n Wild. You know you can't really see it. There you go, Wet n Wild. Fergie. This color is amazing. It is called, it's from the Center Stage Collection. This is the uh, Peach Goddess color and it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I just take my big SK brush and I just go around my hairline just wearing my hair if this thing is new kind of in between do I want to grow it out do I want to cut it for those of you who do know me over the past I don't know 10 15 years I've had probably I think it's been that long short spiky hair which totally fits my personality but I've been thinking I want to grow it out a little bit and I just kind of, as if I were going to contour, but again, this is just a quick look. I do this a lot in the morning time when I go to run out the house. So I just kind of do this. And then I will grab my my Hakari. I gotta use this camera, sorry, bear with me again. My Hakari. This is the Radiate Shimmer Bronzer. Four, four pack, four pack, four quad. And I just kind of, I'm gonna go like that, get them all together. And I just kind of slightly highlight with it. And I'll just, I love glow, you know. 
Everybody's familiar with Vegas. You know the weather out here. Hot, hot, hot. It's May, the end of May, and we're already going to hit hundreds. And I just kind of, you know, blended my own fingers just so. Just because. Cause I know Jeffrey Star was coming right now. But it's okay, because this is a fast look, remember? And I take that same Fergie. Same Fergie powder with my little blending brush from Lab, just blending and brush. And swirl it around, grab all the colors, tap it off. Oh, and I forgot something. I'm going to put my primer on for my eyeshadow. And this is my absolute favorite. I can't find right now. So we're going to skip that part. It's called I Love My Eyes. But I did, you know, I did put powder on and I did put foundation on my eyes. So skip it. So I just put this right here. I just blend it in my crease. This should give me a little pop of color. I don't, I don't put too much. I just want it to, you know, make my eyes look like they have something. And just right there. This is my go to quick rose gold look. That's what I call it. And I just kind of corny real quick with it. And I know everybody has their own way of doing makeup and their applications. And you know how they do them, and I know mine. I'm probably gonna get some hater, hater comments saying, "Well, you didn't do this, and you didn't do that." Well, you know what? When you have 25 minutes to get ready because you gotta rush out the door and you gotta do what you gotta do real quick, then who cares? You know, it's it's if you put your makeup on different than I put my makeup on. It's, you know, I'm not going to harass you over the way you put your makeup on. That, that, that's your decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to go out of here. That, that's your decision. That's how, that's how you roll. This is how I roll when I'm in a hurry and got to get done, you know. I don't do anything to my eyebrows because, I'm sorry, I have very dark hair and I love my eyebrows. And I don't need to, you know, add to them. You know, I might once in a while take a pencil and just darken them up a little bit, but why? I can thank Marnie. Freemeyer for these beautiful eyebrows. She's done them for years and years in New York and I haven't had her in three and they still look great. So thanks, Marty. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to throw a little lip gloss on. This is uh, Trust Fund Beauty. This is Method to the Madness. Just a nice little neutral gloss. Just to put some color on, yeah. Nothing major. Again, this is just a, a quick little go-to look. Just to uh, get things done. And then all I have left to do now is my... I'm not even putting eyeliner on today. I'm not, I'm not messing with it. It's one of those dreary, rainy, shockingly, in Vegas, rainy, very Sunday. Um, this is another find my husband found at Dollar Tree. Can you tell me about the Dollar Tree? This is Wet n Wild's Mega Wear. Now, I, I have tried all kinds of mascaras. I've tried, you know, look, I have Too Faced, Better Than Sex. It's a great mascara, but it runs. Why? If you're going to spend that much on mascara, that shit better not run down my face. Mm -mm. It. Superhero by It. Love it. I do love this one. I keep it That's what I found. I found my favorite eye primer. The I Love Color. Huh, now you know. Um, I have Smashbox X-Rated. I love this. This makes my lashes look great. And I'll put it sometimes 
over top of this, but if I use it alone, it runs. And I don't understand if you're putting all this money in the cosmetic, why is it running down my bottom lashes and getting underneath my eyes and making me look like a raccoon? It's just not happening. I don't wear fake eyelash eyelashes. I shouldn't have to deal with, you know, mascara running down my face. It's just how it goes. So I'm just gonna throw this on. <laughs> Again, as you can tell, I just I have, I'm one of those easy going, no bullshit kind of people. You be real with me, I'll be real with you. You wanna talk about stuff on this channel? Shit. Let me know. Hit me up. You wanna do a question, like a question session? You got questions for me? I'm very easy going. I don't, I don't care. Whatever you guys want. I mean, this is for your viewing pleasure. So, anything that you think you might want to see, hit this up. I can guarantee you. We're crazy enough to do it. So, that's the Wet n Wild. I'm going to go over it with the Smashbox x ray because I do, I absolutely do love this one. So, let me do that right now. This has a, um, I should have showed you the Wet n Wild applicator. Small, which I love for the bottom lashes. It's great. It looks amazing. And then, the Smashbox X rated, which is a big shout out to Ipsy. Um, I used to get the Ipsy, and I say used to because I stopped for a little bit, I might start it back up, but um, this is where I, I got this in my Ipsy bag, so if it wasn't for them, I probably, I probably wouldn't have tried it, being honest. You know, so, again, I know I asked um, a while ago, and I kind of got off topic, but, yeah, let me know who your favorite YouTuber tubers are, and who you follow, you know. Like I said, Jeffree Star, he is one of my ultimate favorite makeup ones. Um, I don't know if anybody's heard of, I'm sure you have, Socialite Sandy, love her, that, she's funny, funny, very funny. Um, so I follow her, she's got one where she does, you know, makeup and reviews, and she also has, her and her husband do a, vo a vlog channel, which is hysterical, you follow them throughout the day. Um, but, you know, so she's, she's another one of my favorites, Graveyard Girl, who I mentioned when I did my Mississippi. Um, she's pretty awesome, too. So, I follow a lot of people, you know, about eight or nine that I watch every day. Um, Sanders Kennedy, was it Kennedy Sanders? I always get his name confused. Forgive me. Um, Graveyard Girl, Laura Lee. You know, Gabriel Zamora, um, Nikita Dragon, Jeffree Star, Manny MUA, um, and the list goes on and on. I mean, just the more I do it, the more I meet people, the more I interact with people. Um, you know, you get more followers, you start following more people, learning different tips and tricks, and that's how it is. It's all about networking. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Again, this is my first one trial in the new home. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I really didn't go into depth about how I was doing anything. I just kind of whipped it on and poof, here I am, you know, all made up and beautified. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you click that subscribe button. Better do it because, you know, we're the hours and we might be able to find you. Just kidding. But subscribe and hit that like button. That, we need to leave a like. Make sure you hit like. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your mom, share it with your dad, who cares? Share it with your enemy. You can pick on the enemy now, so. It's all about that love. Peace out, people, friends. Deuces. Thanks for watching.